We've talked about $100 accessories, we've talked about $50 accessories, but now we're gonna aim really low. Let's try and find some stuff that's actually good. Game Ranks is here to bring you 10 of the cheapest gaming accessories that are actually not shitty. If you're interested in any of this stuff, we linked it all in the description down below. Starting off with number 10, we're gonna go real basic with some cool USB flash drives for those that like to bring their game saves or their data on the go. The first one we could recommend if you're really dorky and you don't care about fashion sense that much is a black wristband USB flash drive. You can usually get these around eight gigabytes and it's enough to hold a game save from PS4 or Xbox One or something like that. And it's practical, you're always gonna have it on you and you're never gonna lose it. And if you're the type of person that needs to, for some reason, bring your game saves everywhere you go, well, now you can. The same goes for this keychain version if you're looking for a bit of a higher capacity. This one can go up to 32 gigs. And we use these around Game Ranks HQ and they're actually pretty useful. And at number nine, we're gonna point out these things because they're stupid and funny and we love them. And honestly, as embarrassing as they are, they're actually kind of practical and useful. Leave it to the Japanese to come up with a special fan that clips into the inside of your shirt sleeve to prevent sweat. This little clip fan slides right in and outputs a little bit of air, enough to keep your armpits from sweating and from you getting stinky while you're playing games for a really long time. Yeah, it's stupid and weird and embarrassing, but honestly, it's near and dear to my heart. I recently went on like a 10 hour gaming binge. And honestly, afterwards I smelled like shit. So I wish I had these. And if you can track these things down, they sell them more in Europe, but you can find them for the equivalent of like 28 bucks. And at number eight, something that we can definitely recommend is a classic USB controller for PC. A lot of people like to download and play classic games on their PC, and we're not gonna condone pirating them or anything. But after doing some research, you'd be surprised that even the cheapest ones, the ones that look like old NES classic controllers or Super Nintendo controllers, actually are pretty competent and work exactly the way you would want them to. And they're completely mappable. They're simple, and if you do your research and get ones that are decent, you can get them for really cheap but they're not actually garbage. And at number seven, we can definitely recommend this PS4 controller charger. This was honestly the only one we could hunt down that was really cheap at like 10 bucks. It's got a little blue LED, it's got dual USB so you could charge two controllers at once, and it's useful because, you know, the PS4 DualShock 4 dies really quickly. That battery is not good. But if you're on a budget, the one we linked below is probably the best one you can get for your money that isn't complete garbage. It's cheap, it's not the best constructed thing, but it works, and that's what matters, right? We hunted for an Xbox One version, like an Xbox Xbox One play and charge type kit, but we couldn't find one for a really, really cheap price, so we didn't link one. But if you can find one and you have one that you recommend that's really, really dirt cheap, let us know in the comments. And at number six, we're gonna recommend a 3DS charger. You can get these for really cheap, and honestly, spending a couple bucks is better than just using something like your phone charger, because usually you get better power output with these. The one we recommended actually comes in a two pack for under 10 bucks, and it's useful if you wanna keep them in two separate places, one at work, one at home, something like that. It's honestly kind of a must have if you are someone that bought a 3DS, because most 3DSs you buy don't come with a charger, which is unforgivable. But thankfully, these are really, really cheap and they do work. I don't think they're gonna burn your house down, but don't quote me on that. And at number five, we can recommend these PS4 controller light bar decals. Some people are really into this, while other people think they're really gaudy and tacky and just look stupid. But when we were looking for ones to recommend, obviously we were looking for the absolute cheapest, but we also looked for ones that weren't totally stupid and had decent reviews and had a nice mix of different logos and looks and designs to them that appeal to most people. And these extreme rate ones we recommended definitely have that. While they do have like skulls and weird things like that for some people, there's other basic stuff like stars or stripes or, you know, more basic patterns for some people. You know, for the more subdued conservative controller user. Also, it's another good way if the light bar on the PS4 just kind of bothers you. It's a good way of closing up some of it and covering up that light other than turning it down in the options menu. It's definitely a personal preference thing, but if you like them, we recommend them. And at number four, something cheap that's pretty cool that we could definitely recommend are vertical console stands. The ones we recommend are just around 10 bucks and they do a hell of a good job at making your console and your console setups look much nicer. Link below, we've recommended one for Xbox One S, PS4 Slim and Pro, and the original PS4, and they're all pretty decent. While they're not the absolute best ones you can get, and the one for the regular PS4 Slim or Pro could be a little wobbly, they are of decent build quality and they have non-slip surfaces on the bottom, and especially the Xbox One S in particular, they're just good ways to secure your stand in a vertical manner and make it look kind of cool. Modern consoles and CD drives are designed to work both ways, so by keeping it vertical, it doesn't mess up your console in any way, just as an FYI if you don't know. And if space is limited and you're trying to cram your consoles into a limited space, like an entertainment stand or something, this is a good idea. And at number three, since we haven't acknowledged the PC folks enough, let's talk about a mouse pad. The one we could recommend, it's actually under 10 bucks and it's a good solid regular mouse pad that doesn't really do anything, is this SteelSeries one, the QCK. We've recommended this in other videos and honestly just because this is what we use at Game Ranks. When we edit videos and we use a mouse, this is the mouse pad that we have them on. This is the mouse pad that our mice sit on. It's of a nice size, it feels quality, it doesn't feel cheap and crappy, and it gets the job done. That's it, that's all I can really say about it. 
And at number two, doubling back a little bit, you know, the NES Classic has been extremely popular. We did it before you buy on it. It's not perfect, but some people really love it. One of the biggest complaints with it, though, is the cable length. It is criminally, criminally short, the length of the cable from the controller to the console. So we can recommend these classic cable extenders. There's a lot of these online. There's a lot of knockoffs and shitty ones, but these ones definitely have the best reviews, and I personally used one of them to good success. It's definitely a much needed thing for the NES Classic. It's probably the one accessory you need to get for this thing. It, it, it instantly improves the device tenfold. It, it fixes one of my biggest complaints with the console. So if you do have an NES Classic, check it out. And at number one, we have two gaming mouse recommendations for you guys. The first is the Habit 2800. At 10 bucks, it looks simple. It's of a simple, comfortable design. And it's got four LEDs and a couple of thumb buttons, as well as adjustable DPI levels up to 2800. You know, even at just 10 bucks, it is designed with gaming in mind. So it should be pretty responsive for you. We can also recommend the TechNet Alpha. This thing is 10 bucks as well. And it has a bit of a different grip style for certain people's different preferences, and it has five adjustable DPI levels. The battery life on this thing will last 18 months, and the connection should be pretty solid with a 2.4 gigahertz wireless connection. It's really up to you, but if you are looking for a cheap mouse, either one of these are a good bet because they're one of the best reviewed and best recommended ones for like 10 bucks. So if you are on a super, super strict budget, you should take a look at these. But guys, those are 10 or so accessories that we can recommend that are super cheap, but aren't totally crappy. We know there's a lot of other cheap gaming things out there, that some of which many of you guys may use. So if you think you want to speak up for a cheap device that isn't so crappy, let us know in the comments. If you did learn a thing or two, or maybe pick one of these up, maybe share with your friends or click the like button because it helps us out a lot. Subscribing is a good idea if you're new because we put out videos like this every single day as well. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.